prices have never been better. Stay back, Wanderer. You are welcome to our camp, but our chief is not entertaining guests. Like so many of our warriors, he has been poisoned. Only his daughter may disturb his rest. The king has waited too long. So many warriors have died, and Marima holds on to life by a thread. We will answer the king's call to the best of our ability, but I fear we can do very little. You should speak to Talia if you haven't already. My father told me someone would come. You approach the camp of the Ashaba. Unless you are here to help us, I suggest you turn around and go the other way. Faharajad sent to you to ask for our help? Now? The nerve of this king! <laughs> well, if you seek my father, you should know he and many other of our warriors are extremely ill. Some are dead. Our water was poisoned. I suspect it was the necromancers, the withered hand, but it is of little importance now. All that matters is finding the ingredients for the antidote. If my father dies, there is no Ashaba for the king to call upon. Will you help me then? Come quickly then. Meet me at my tent in the camp. I've marked on your map where my father says we can find the ingredients. Lead the way. Chaw your skin! Snap your spine! Ah! Was that supposed to scare me? How quaint! I will see my fallen brothers and sister avenged, even if it is the last thing I ever do. My father has been chief of the tribe for 26 years. We would not know what to do without him. Who would have believed the Withered Hand would poison our water? We must hurry. So many Ashaba have already died. Yeah. That's everything. Meet me at my father's tent. It is rare for General Thoda to offer a word of praise, but he speaks highly of you. Please, father. There must be some way. You must accept this, Talia. My time has come. Go. Prepare the potion. I must speak with our guest. I do not like this. But I will do as you say, Father. You are welcome to our camp. 
We are usually generous hosts, but under the circumstances, I, I hope you understand. You have seen, of course, the tribe is weak, and I am soon to return to the sand. Another must fulfill the sacred duty of the Ashaba. That other is you. It has been foreseen. Yes, there can be no doubt. The Withered Hand. We have never faced such a threat. But it is our duty to stop them. You... You must become one of us. You must become an Ashaba. Then, you must stop the Withered Hand. There is a ritual. My daughter... I told her the ingredients were for an antidote. But she knows now. They are for your initiation. There's not much time. You must decide. Are you willing to join us? To become an Ashaba? I... I understand your hesitation. But whether you join us or not, defeating the Withered Hen is your destiny. By becoming a Shaba, you are simply fulfilling our duty by doing what you are already destined to do. Nothing further is expected. Thank you. You move a great weight off of the heart of a dying man. The future of our tribe, our honor, depends on you fulfilling our duty and fighting the withered hand. My daughter is not happy right now. She's as stubborn as her mother was, but death will not be stayed. Be assured, though, Initiate, after you complete the trial, she will help you fight the hand, if you wish. That is good. I believe she has finished mixing the potion for your initiation. Speak to her when you are ready to begin the trial. May... To walk or guide your path, Initiate, always. The great man lies dying over there, and he has put all his faith in you. I hope it is not misplaced. I have finished mixing the potion for your initiation. Whenever you are ready, we can begin the trial. Very well. Then here it is. Go to the Mikada in the back of the tent and drink. Be prepared, Initiate. The potion will bring on a vision of the past. When the vision is over, you will know what it means to be a Shaba. yourself, or do you want to miss the battle? Samir, my brother, finally you stir. Did you drink too deeply from the starry well last night? This is unlike you. Quickly, pull yourself together. We can afford no idle time today. Morwa's mercy. Maybe you took a head bump too. Did you forget about the battle? The regatta will drive these evil elves from our lands for good. I am to fight at your side today, brother. Tell me you still feel up to it. Now there is the Samir I know. 
Sometime you will have to tell me what has befallen on this last night. A story of wildness, I am sure. Come now, though. Our father prepares to address the regatta. He is expecting us. Samir, I am really starting to worry. Have you been ensorcelled? The year is 853. Our father is King Jaquan. Come from old Yakuta to settle here in the Alakir Desert. I hope this is starting to sound familiar. Blade's Edge, I am sorry. You are the crown prince, but I am your brother and I was worried. Please tell me you are all right. I have been looking forward to this battle for weeks, but father will not let me fight unless you lead the way. Yashaba? These people I do not know. Are they also elves? If we must, we will kill them too. I need you to focus though, Samir. Focus on the battle today. We should hurry to hear Father's speech, because they do not want us here. Our people came across the sea from old Yakuta to settle here, but these elves, the Koralanya clan, they will drive us from these shores. We are making our stand today, letting them know we are here to stay. Praise the gods. It would not be proper if we were not present when Father makes his speech. He is very likely starting to worry about us himself. Ragada, you all know that the elves are outside our walls. These infidels call us barbarians. They would drive us from this land, but what the elves do not know is that Rupka himself guided us to these shores. He decreed that the Alakir would be our home. Today, the infidels will see the strength of the Shahai. Ansi will guide our blades. Today, the sands will run red with elven blood. <laughs> you look strong, Samir. My heart is proud. I believe this will be a day of destiny for you and your brother. If we wish to remain here, we must cleanse the land of these elves' taint. Yes, and much of the glory for this victory will go to you and your brother. I send you forth as my champions to slice through the elves' ranks and find their leader. You will cut off the snake's head, and then the body will wither and die. Yes, it is a great honor and a great responsibility. You have proven your valor time and again, Samir. I know you will succeed and clear the way for our people's future. Go now, and go with the gods, my son. You have my blessing. I know you will be victorious, my son. May Ansi guide your blade. Give me a moment, Samir. I must make my offering to Ansi. Come to my tent when you are ready to enter the battle. Our deeds today will be remembered for generations to come, brother. Lead on.
me. I'm hurt. I need healing. To die. You've already lost. While you charged in, we went behind and killed your king. Ha! at the walking bones. These elves have no shame? Samir, what has befallen here? Quickly, we must find Father. Ask the Vizier where he is. You are too late, Samir. Your father is dead. Even worse, some elven necromancer. He turned your father into an abomination. The necromancer slew your father and then reanimated his corpse. It is the most terrible thing I have ever seen. He is lost. There is nothing to be done for it. Samir, you must not go in there. You would have to strike down your own father. As darkly as these events have transpired, our laws remain sacred. Your father is honored dead. Harm his remains, and you dishonor yourself. Yes, there is no other choice to be made. I know your father would not want us to abandon our new home here, but he could not have foreseen this. He would not have us break the sacred law. You must not even consider such a thing. We should discuss this, Samir. Come with me.
Fate has dealt us a cruel hand, my brother. I agree with you. Father would not want us to flee our home. But do we dishonor ourselves? To kill him would mean exile, but... I am willing to do this if you command. Because it is clear that one of us must make this sacrifice. You are in line to become king now. If you strike our father, you would be throwing all of this away. For me, there is not as much at stake. Just speak the command and I will go, brother. No! No, please! I beseech you to reconsider this decision, Samir. I cannot bear to see you exiled. What will I do? I am not sewn from the same cloth as you and father. I am not meant to be king. Done then? I would not have such courage. In my mind, you are a hero for what you have done. No, you deserve to be honored for your actions. But the Vizier says that by law, you must be exiled instead. I. I don't know what to do. Your courage, your humility. You should be king, not I. I'm sorry. I suppose I must stop acting like a child and accept my responsibility. Whatever happens, though, your sacrifice will never be forgotten. I love you, my brother. Why, Samir, why? You have broken the most sacred tradition of the kingdom. Nothing can justify such sacrilege. The law is clear, Samir. Exile. You must leave here now and never return. Good. Then there is nothing more for us to discuss. Let us hope your brother learns to listen to my counsel, and to make better decisions than you have. Farewell, my brave brother. I will never forget you, and the sacrifice you made for our people. Welcome back. You were gone for longer than I expected. I trust you walked in the steps of Prince Samir of Yath and experienced the events that led to his exile? He was. Samir went on to start a family and a tribe in exile. They wandered the desert as nomads and became known as the Ashaba. Hakmir became king and ruled peacefully until years later, when he again faced the threat of necromancers and undead. The colony from Yath would have fallen, but Samir led his tribe against the necromancers and their army of risen dead. The Ashaba accepted the dishonor of fighting the dead to save the kingdom. So it has been ever since. You have now witnessed the first sacrifice, and you know that true honor need not be named. You are one of us. You are Ashaba. We will recognize you as our brother and together we will uphold the sacred duty of our tribe. Yes, the words have been spoken. Normally, my father would conduct a small ceremony and speak the words, but his spirit moved on while you were unconscious. 
His last request was that you and I would destroy the Withered Hand. There is little we can do to help our fellow Ashaba here now. So we should do as my father wished. We should dedicate ourselves to destroying the Withered Hand. They killed my father. I will enjoy the opportunity to even the score. There is a place to the northeast, a sacred place called Tuwaka's Throne. It is a place of quiet and of honor. Many, many heroes have been laid to rest there. I worry what would happen if the Withered Hand were to go there. I must see to the consecration of my father's remains. It would be disrespectful to do otherwise. Go on to Tuwaka's throne. Look for an Ashaba named Ramati. I know these sands well. I will catch up with you soon enough. It is our duty as a Shaba to assist the king if he calls upon us. I only wish he had called on us earlier. Perhaps this terrible poisoning could have been avoided.